Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, Tony Olaoye. Today's video is my own take on the clean girl makeup look. This is how I have been doing my makeup for the last couple of months and it's been fantabulous. I'm also going to be talking to you guys about what I know is on everybody's mind, okay? And without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm the only one seeing this now. But for the past two weeks now, if I look left, if I look right, Everybody has done yash. Everybody has done bomb bomb now. Even the ones that have owned me for how many years now? The ones that say that they've not eaten for many days now. They have done yash. Ah! I will come and tell us self love. You come and tell me self love. Or you tell me that you went to the gym. It's Jim that gave you that yash. It's Jim. Let me calm down. Because they say if something is making you happy, do it. But you see me, you cannot collect my happiness. I must join this self-love by fire, by thunder. So the first thing I like to do is to ensure that my skin prep is all the way at 100 because that's the base for your makeup. And once you have your skin base and your prep on lock, trust me your makeup is going to come out looking amazing i'm going to start off with some moisturizer this is like super hydrating and moisturizing and since the weather is changing it's perfect i'm also going to follow through with the charlotte tilbury magic serum i love this serum guys it contains vitamin C and niacinamide it allows your skin to look fresher younger and brighter Let's get that all in there. Now that my skin is taking in all this moisture, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Brow Wax. I like applying it backwards first. And then I'm going to go in and brush it in the direction I want my eyebrows to fall. Then I just like to take either my finger or whatever and just flatten my brows even more. So, my last step for my prep is to use a very tacky primer. You want to use a primer that's going to stick to your makeup. You want that sticky, tacky feeling on your skin because I feel like that's what allows your foundation to look so flawless and so blended in. So, I'm going to be using none other than my Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. You know how everybody has that one makeup product that they can't get enough of? This is mine. So, the main reason for doing this video is, obviously, as you guys can tell from my Instagram and my pictures and my Snapchat, you guys can tell my body looks a little bit different. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, I feel like I haven't done this in so long that it's hard to do my makeup and talk at the same time. I didn't want to come on here and just keep on doing my vlogs and my makeup tutorials and my hair tutorials and not address anything because I don't want to come across as a hypocrite. Because one thing I don't like is a freaking hypocrite. So about last year, I made a video talking about BBLs and how much, you know, pretty much everybody is doing it right now. And it just feels like it's becoming an epidemic in the black community. And in that video, I just want to make one thing clear. I was never, ever, ever against surgery. I'm just going to take my pencil and fill in the sparse areas. And that's all I do to my brows. I don't conceal the top anymore. I don't do none of that. And my eyebrows always come out looking flawless. So let me go ahead and blend out the concealer. I'm going to move on to my foundation and my base. I'm using my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. So yeah, like I was saying, I wasn't, you know, ever fully 100% against plastic surgery. I never came on here and I was like, I would never get plastic surgery. You no, know, I was always like, if I want to do it, I want people to do it for them. And I never believed in 18, 19, 20 year olds getting plastic surgery because I always said that bodies weren't fully developed. And I also said, like, if anyone was getting plastic surgery, they have to ensure they are doing it for themselves, not for the validation of other people. And that was my stand. And plastic surgery but obviously I didn't want to come out here with like a whole new body a whole new ass a tinier waist I pretend like nothing is going on because that's setting a bad example for you guys and that's me being hypocritical and those are two things I never ever want to do 
so yeah i really hope that clears up that just in case anybody is having any doubts or still wondering yes i got my body done recently um i'm not going to come out here and encourage you guys to get your bodies done or to go under the knife like i'm never ever going to do that we all just heard what happened to spice she went to dominican and you know she was in a coma so it's it's not a small feat to do and that's why i would never come out here and say you know you guys go get surgery whenever you want blah 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 no you'd never catch me dead doing that but yeah i did get surgery um I don't want people looking at my body and being like, oh my gosh, she got this body in the gym. Because yes, and as much as I worked out, going to the gym never gave me the body I have now. It added to it, but it never fully gave me that body. And I'm not going to be one of those influencers that would go and get their body done and come back and be like, oh, everything was in the gym. I hope you guys are good now that I have addressed this. Taking in my Juvia's Place Concealer. I'm going in with a darker shade. This is more skin-like. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade. That's pretty much all I have to say about getting my body done. I hope that has cleared up a little bit of confusion. And, you know, because sometimes I see you guys tell me in the comments, Oh, did she get her body done? Did she not get her body done? I know Tony, Tony has been going to the gym for years. And I thank you guys so much for, um, you know, doing that. But I just want to be honest moving forward. I don't want confusion. I, I'm not going to say where. I'm not going to give out my doctor's information. Because if you're choosing to go down that path, the least you can do is do your own research into the clinic you're going to use into your doctors and all of that stuff so please don't ask me for any of that information because i'm not going to share that i would always always be an advocate of self-love you know self-love doesn't mean you can't improve what you don't like or you can't change what you don't like it's about accepting the state you are in right now and you know taking actionable steps so i'm going to allow my concealer to dry then i'm going to go ahead and start blending with my beauty sponge I'm also going to add some liquid blush. This is the Rare Beauty liquid blush that I'm using today. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this side of my beauty sponge and just start blending. For this look, I love going a little bit heavy handed with the blush. I feel like it adds a lot of color and dimension to my face. And in the past, I hated applying blush. Oh my god. You couldn't catch me dead in blush, but I think it's just such a pretty, pretty look. I'm using my Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Talc Free Setting Powder. This setting powder is amazing, guys. It has this blurring effect. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I just used this in a recent video. So, we are going to go ahead and set a contour with my bronzer. The most important thing I need are a pair of lashes and I'm going to do like a very nude color on my eyelids just to add a little bit more depth. These are the lashes I'm going to be using today. One thing that I like to do for my eyes is add little pearls right underneath. I'm going to line with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. This shade is like gorgeous on dark skin tones. It's so beautiful, guys. The last step is to set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, now let's go ahead and set the rest of my face. 